See, risk assessment is one of the important aspects in the field of human genetics. Uh, there are uh, diseases like uh, autosomal uh, dominant diseases or autosomal recessive diseases and uh, diseases which happen to occur because of uh, uh, certain mutations uh, located on the X chromosome. They are referred as the X-linked uh, diseases. So how to assess the occurrence of uh, a particular disease in the subsequent generation or in the next generation? Uh, I'm going to take up that aspect, particularly the autosomal recessive diseases. See, uh, these are some of the diseases which I have listed here. These, uh, the genes causing cystic fibrosis, arbetes, crystalline dystrophy, that is BCD, which is a type of retinal dystrophy, or Tay-Sachs sachs disease, which these are some of the uh, diseases which are shown here, and uh, the mutant genes resulting such disease are found on the autosomes. And uh, <clears throat> one suffers from these diseases only when the mutant alleles is found in double copy, that is maternal and paternal, both chromosome carry the mutant allele, only then it is expressed in the individual. So uh, we shall be seeing the occurrence of such disease and uh, the probability of occurrence of uh, such kind of disease, which are recessive and autosomal in inheritance. Now, uh, in this uh, pedigree, uh, you can see the inheritance pattern of a autosomal recessive disease. So uh, this is just for uh, making you people acquainted with the subject, that is, uh, a pedigree uh, will, uh, can be shown by uh, certain, you know, numbers, the Roman numbers, which are shown on the left side, like one, two, three, four, and these Roman numbers indicate the generations, whereas the numbers which are shown horizontally, uh, Arabic numbers, these indicate the individuals coming in sequence in particular generation, like in generation two, one, two, three, four individuals are shown. So other point is this round structure is for female, this square is for male, and uh, this colored uh, two, three, that is this individual, third individual of second generation shows the disease. Okay, the trait uh, that appears in this individual, it means this fellow will be homozygous, uh, recessive. So you can say that uh, in such case, parents might have been obligate carriers, means they would have been carriers. We can call such parents as obligate carriers, that is they are definite carriers, because mother might have inherited the recessive allele to this daughter, father also inherited that uh, recessive allele to the daughter, and that is why uh, this child shows, or daughter shows, the expression of that disease. Uh, likewise, in fourth generation, this male child shows uh, the uh, expression of the disease. So one should know that autosomal recessive diseases, they are expressed in both the sexes with equal happening, means it is not sex dependent at all. Uh, the disease can be expressed in male as well as female with equal probability. And uh, individual who shows the disease uh, may have uh, parents uh, showing normal, you know, condition, means they may not be showing the trait because it is recessive in nature. So parents may be all right, they will not be sufferer at all. And uh, uh, in such case, uh, one of the children or some of the children may have the disease. Other uh, important point is to note that such uh, diseases which are autosomal recessive in nature, they are not expressed very frequently in the family 
means they are rare in occurrence sometimes they are very rare uh, because they are expressed only when the individuals are uh, homozygous so otherwise they are carried in the family in recessive form and uh, being recessive they are actually hidden so this is uh, the inheritance pattern let us come to the main aspect that is how to uh, calculate uh, the uh, cases but before that before i take up a particular case this diagram will be very useful to develop some idea uh, and that is that if you find someone suffering from the disease okay this individual is affected means this fellow is suffering from the disease so in such case as i told the parents will definitely be carrier and we call them as obligate carrier so and uh, through this central dot it is shown that they are carrier and that is why one of their children is sufferer now in this case if we consider the genotype of this fellow as capital a small a and the mother also is of genotype capital a small a small a is the allele which is mutant one then uh, the probability of having homozygous you know children or uh, occurrence of capital aa will be 1 by 4 occurrence of uh, heterozygotes or carrier will be 2 by 4 and occurrence of a diseased person uh, will be 1 by 4 so this we should know but main point is that those individuals who look normal see in this case these are the individuals who are not showing the disease and in their case if anyone is actually looking normal then you can say that that fellow could be carrier and the chance that a normal person will be carrier will be 2 by 3 so this is the point one should remember that all those individuals who are normal although his parts are shown here indicates that out of these three normal cases are unaffected cases the two individuals are carrier so all those who are normal among them there will be chance of being carrier 2 by 3 so 2 by 3 will be carrier and with this concept let us solve certain questions here is a pedigree in which three generations are shown Uh, rather two generations are shown uh, only one and two generations are shown and there a child has to be born in the third generation so we have to know that what would be the probability of this child third generation child uh, suffering from uh, the disease and it is well known that this disease is autosomal recessive in nature because by analyzing the pedigree suppose you have come to know that there is a disease that runs in this family and it is autosomal recessive in nature so question is that what is the probability that uh, the individual of third generation who is shown as a question mark will be a sufferer and this diagonal picture indicates that the sex of the individual is not known this could be male and female also so as i told that uh, probability of occurrence of the disease in both the sexes will be equal as i just mentioned that if someone is normal because this male is married with a female who is showing the disease so what is the chance that this baby will be sufferer so this male is a normal one now we hope that this normal fellow may be carrier so what is the chance that this individual will be carrier because uh, uh, his you know siblings are showing the trait means they are showing the disease it means uh, their parents would have been carrier they uh, will definitely be carrier and there may be chance that this fellow might have received the mutant allele from one of the parents so the chance that this fellow will be carrier will be 2 by 3 and if this fellow is carrier then inheriting the recessive allele to the next generation i'm sorry will be 1 by 
So from here, the recessive allele to the next generation, its inheritance will be one by two. And this mother will definitely inherit recessive allele to this next generation. So from here, the chance of inheriting the recessive allele will be one. One means 100%. So let us see what will happen and how we shall calculate it. Again, in 2, 4, the probability that this fellow is carrier is 2 by 3. And inheriting the recessive allele from this 2, 4 to the next generation will be 1 by 2. So you, I have written here 2 by 3 into 1 by 4. And then from the mother side, from this right side means 2, 5 the inheritance of uh, recessive allele to the next generation will be 100%, it means 1. So 2 by 3 into 1 by 2 into 1 and this figure will come, the final figure will come 2 by 6. When you will simplify it, it will come 1 by 3. It means there will be 0.33 or 33% chance that the individual who is expected to be born in third generation will be a sufferer. Now let us consider the same situation, same case in this pedigree. Suppose this is a pedigree where again two generations are shown and a child has to be born in third generation and parents want to know the uh, probability of occurrence of the disease in this case. Here this third fellow means two third means this uh, woman uh, she is having uh, her siblings uh, normal as well as a sufferer. Since someone is sufferer, it means she can expect herself to be carrier. And the chance that she will be carrier will be 2 by 3. And from there, the inheritance of recessive allele to the next generation will be 1 by 2. Because if she is capital A small a, then chance that is small a will go to the next generation will be 1 by 2. Coming to this side means uh, to, uh, to 4, second generation, fourth individual. What would be the situation here? See, this fellow uh, has uh, his mother showing the trait, means she is actually a sufferer. She is having the disease. So she may be small a, small a, and she will be small a, small a in her genotype. So this uh, 2, 4 has already received recessive allele from his mother. So it is well known that 2, 4 is a carrier. In this case, small a will definitely be coming from the mother. And uh, since this fellow shows normal features, it means one of the allele will be normal allele. So this fellow is known to be, well known to be capital A, small a, that is carrier. And the chance that from this fellow, the recessive allele will reach to the next generation will be 1 by 2. So we can say that it will be 2 by 3 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2. So we can solve it here. It will be 2 by 3 means this 2, 3 chance that uh, this individual is carrier that is 2 by 3 inheriting small a to the next generation or recessive allele to the next generation will be 1 by 2 and then from this 2, 4, who is known to be carrier, uh, the inheritance of recessive allele will be 1 by 2. So finally, it will be 2 by 12. And uh, then you simplify it, it comes 1 by 6. So final figure will be 0 0.16. That is, there is 16% chance that uh, this individual who is expected to be born in the third generation will be a sufferer. Let us consider this third example. Here, uh, four generations are shown. And uh, this particular disease, which is autosomal recessive in nature, it runs in the family. See, in the first generation, this uh, female is having the disease. Then again, the same disease appears in the fourth generation in this 4-2. And uh, what is the probability that if this 3-4 marry with each other of fourth generation, then they will have a child with the disease. We can solve it uh, very easily here because we know that this fourth generation third fellow is having uh, a, a, a sister who is suffering from the disease. 
it means this fellow could be could be carrier and its chance will be 2 by 3 and then inheriting the recessive allele to the next generation will be 1 by 2 so uh, it's not necessary to go in back generation although uh, you know there is consanguinity and because of this this fellow is suffering but anyway uh, seeing this 4 3 we can say that this fellow could be carrier and then uh, that uh, male individual can inherit the recessive allele to the next generation but see in this side that is 4 4 what would be the situation in this fellow again we can come to the upper side in the first generation this female is a sufferer she might have inherited this recessive allele to this 2 4 2 4 might have received it also this fellow is a definite carrier and from this definite carrier the small a may reach to this 5 okay to this 3 5 that is fifth individual of third generation and its chance will be 1 by 2 so since this fellow is definite carrier chance of inheritance of a small a to this fellow will be 1 by 2 and then from there it will come to this 4 4 its chance will be 1 by 2 and then from 4 this 4 4 to the next generation 1 by 2 so we can solve it in this way same you know pedigree is shown here only thing that I have solved it here that is this 3 third individual of fourth generation will be a carrier its chance will be 2 by 3 then inheriting a small a or recessive allele to the next generation will be 1 by 2 so this much is clear uh, then come to this side as I told this fellow is carrier that is 2 4 inheriting recessive allele to the next generation will be 1 by 2 then 1 by 2 and then 1 by 2 so 3 times 1 by 2 will come 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 and final figure will be 2 divided by 48 so this will be 1 divided by 24 and uh, when you will solve it it will come 0 0.04 it means only 4 percent chance is there that this individual who is uh, expected to be born in fifth generation will be a sufferer likewise this is another case uh, by this time I think that uh, one can solve uh, such kind of questions very easily this fellow is a sufferer of second generation and uh, uh, being sufferer or recessive homozygous this fellow might have inherited the recessive allele to the third generation in the individual 2 as well as 3 so this uh, individual of uh, uh, third generation that is 3 3 is a carrier and it is well established fact that this fellow is a carrier so uh, this male can inherit recessive allele to the next generation and from this 3 4 the inheritance will be uh, of this recessive allele will be 100 percent so we can solve it same diagram is shown here as i showed uh, 3 3 uh, will be a carrier and from there the inheritance of recessive allele to the next generation will be 1 by 2 so this will be 1 by 2 into there will be 100 percent chance that recessive allele will come from this side uh, to the uh, to this fourth generation individual so this the chance that uh, this fourth generation individual will suffer from the disease will be 1 by 2 into 1 and uh, this will be 1 by 2 so 50 percent now this way I have given some of the uh, examples in which uh, uh, such kind of calculations could be made but one should be well aware uh, that uh, the individuals who are going to marry and are married and going to have a child what is their genetic makeup uh, if you are able to have concept whether they are definite carrier or they are uh, the uh, individuals who are expected to be carrier uh, in such case I means this kind of thing must be very clear and only then such calculations becomes easy